Hello and welcome. Just making a short little video here to introduce you to the Wi-Fi side of your new UView dash cam. We're going to show you how to download and install the app, how to connect your Android smartphone uh, to your dash cam and how to use the Wi-Fi app. So the first thing to do is to go to the Play Store and search for UView. Here to save time, I've downloaded the app already and we're going to open now uh, to install. So opening the app, you'll see it's asking for a permission. You need to allow this permission. Um, this will allow the camera to record video and also to access GPS location data. Uh, the app will then ask you to connect a smartphone and then it will automatically take you to the Wi-Fi section of your phone. You can see here that the dash cam we have in this vehicle is a UView U5, uh, followed by the unique SS identification, uh, which is how your dash cam identifies itself to your phone. Selecting that icon there, we can now enter the password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hit connect. Now, if your phone shows you a message about uh, no internet, that's fine, just dismiss that, that's quite normal. We'll wait here until we get a connection. There's the message, and now we can go back to the desktop. Now, the next step on an Android phone is to pull down on the top of the screen and reveal your shortcuts. Um, the shortcut we're looking for here is the one on the right hand side with the up and down arrow, that is your mobile data. Mobile data needs to be turned off while you're using your dash cam. If you don't see your mobile data shortcut when you pull down the first time, pull down the second time and it will re reveal more of your hidden icons. Um, so we'll turn mobile data off and return to the desktop and select the UView icon. Okay, now we have the app open, I'll give you a quick walkthrough on using the app. Starting at the top of the screen, you can see the live view from the front camera, and below that we have uh, four icons. So starting at the left hand side, we have the microphone on and off. This is purely a personal choice, by default all UView dash cams come with audio recording turned off. You can quite simply turn it on here if you choose. The next icon along is the rear camera and you can flick between front and rear there and the next icon along is to flip the rear image and once again that's a personal choice uh, up to yourself. The last icon in that top row there is to take a photo. So we'll take a photo now, down at the bottom of the screen, we have two more icons. We have the download file. So once we open that, download file and DVR on the top line. Download file is what has been downloaded into your uh, mobile phone. And flipping across to DVR will give you a list of what is on the camera. And below that, we have the four folders that all videos are put into. That'd be normal driving, uh, events, parking mode files and photos. Now for example if we move across to photo and click on the top icon there we can see a photo that has been taken on this camera. So if you choose to download that photo it's simply a matter of selecting the down arrow on the right hand side. Now moving along at the bottom we have the settings tab. Now the camera, the way it's supplied, most people would not want to change the settings. By all means, feel free to have a play with the settings if you choose. And if you feel that you've made a bit of a mess of it, moving down towards the bottom of the screen, we have a factory reset, and you can reset your camera back to how it was installed. Now, one thing worth uh, making note of is that you can use this screen here to erase all the contents of the memory card. This is not required from a maintenance point of view, but some people occasionally may have uh, need to delete footage on the memory card. This is where you do that. And moving up the screen, you will see 
the block low voltage option. Now this is the voltage at which your camera turns off in parking mode. It's preset for 12.3 volts. I would suggest you do not change it. If you change it below the 12.1 setting, then a flat battery will be more than possible. So moving back to the home screen, um, that's about it for the app. If you have any more questions, uh, my name's Rod, my phone number is on the bottom of the pamphlets left in your glove box, and please, by all means, reach out to me.